Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is Sunday. Welcome to CF Moto Side Rider. I don't have a lot going on today and I think I got a busy week coming, so I'm going to go out and have some fun with the Z Force. I'm going alone. Just going to go for a quick ride, go see my dad, and uh, take in the sights along the way. Come along with me. So here we are. I had to jump on the lake because I couldn't get off the trail. Some plow had plowed a big pile of snow, a big mound up on the trail at the end of a road, I mean. I couldn't get out of there. So I, the lake is right beside the trail. So I jumped on the lake. There's lots of ice. And I'm checking out the situation here. It's getting a little sketchy. Felt like I was getting stuck. There's so much snow on the ice. But I decided to keep on going. <laughs> And then I stopped here again because it was really getting crazy. You can see the way the steering wheel is going back and forth. It's getting deep. And I was thinking, well, if I go back, I might have a chance. I don't want to get stuck here and bug somebody that I don't know. And then I said, well, let's go for it. Let's just go for it. And I made it to shore. Holy smokes, I wasn't too sure I was going to get off that lake. The snow's too deep for these four wheelers, I'll tell you. Just maybe for sleds, but I made it. I made it, and I'm glad I am not going back on there. I'll take the highway home if I have to. So we're going to continue on down to the trails. They should be much better, more compacted. So this is a campground, and we're just going to head through it and head to the road and cross the highway and go to the trails. And here I just ran into... Uh, snowmobiler and his little son on his little snowmobile it was pretty cool I remember those days although I'd never had a little one but I had uh, we built a snowmobile of an old one um, an old Alaska ski you probably never heard of it but we rebuilt the hood with fiberglass like changed the the shape of it and painted it and it was such a slow engine it was terrible, but it was good for a kid who's young. And uh, that's, so that's what I had for a little while. And then I went to a Harley Davidson snowmobile. It had chrome skis, had a 440 in it. And we ended up switching it to a 399 Skidoo Olympic engine. Good memories. So we're here on the trails. We're getting on the rail trails and hanging right here, heading west ways and uh, heading over to my dad's place. Okay, we're running into our first, or no, that'd be our second and third snowmobilers. <laughs> and there's some more coming here, I believe. And uh, two out of four, I think, waved at me. Yep, there we got another wave, so that was a good sign. We're starting the day off all right. And we're just heading on down the trail. This is a nice spot. Looks nice with all the rocks on the sides and trees covered in snow. And then we're skipping ahead here a bit. This here is a flooded swampy area on the trail. So I had to go around that spot. There was a big rut there where water's running. Well, I just stopped to take a break and wow, are these trails ever nice. They're so flat and they're good compacted snowmobile trails. I ran into a few snowmobiles there. You've probably seen that in the video, but uh, they, uh, you know, one guy waved. The other ones didn't wave, but some people don't understand. Like, I know it's a snowmobile trail that's been groomed and I'm still allowed to be on here. I will not tear this trail up. I will not do donuts and spin around, fast takeoffs, make ruts. It's good and compact, I just float on the top and that's the way it's gonna be. I'm not gonna disrespect the snowmobilers and wreck the trails because I know, I used to be a snowmobiler, I know what it's like to have good trails and people come on and make ruts and all that sort of thing. But right now it's good, you know what I mean? When it gets a little warmer, it's gonna get softer and then I'll just stay out of here. Come over here, I'm, I'm in two wheel drive 
I was running in four-wheel drive, and I thought, why am I doing that? I can probably run in two, but I came off the trail just a little bit. You can see it goes down. And if you come over here, where are we? <laughs> Look at this. If I get into this, into the sides like this, I'm done. I'll be done. <laughs> I'll be in big trouble. So we're coming to the end of the trail riding anyway for now, and I'm jumping on the road. I'm going to take the road the rest of the way to my dad's place. A little later. So now, actually, I've been to my dad's place, and we're on our way back, and we're going to run into some cool stuff up here. Just hang in and watch this. Had to stop here and take a look at this. Looks like there's a couple deer laying here through the night, maybe. You see there's one laying down there. We had one laying down here. Looks like they came in from here through the bush. There's a few more spots up here. Either it was four deer or they just kept changing spots. Probably was three deer. So there's one there, another one here. Or not three deer, four deer. Pretty cool. You can see their tracks. They walk up the trail here. All the way up to about right there. And they probably went back down. I'll try to get in here. It looks like they went back down in there. Or maybe they crossed here. Unless they just turn around. Oh, look at this. You can see their hoofs were dragging right here. See those two lines? <laughs> it's so cool. I'll look over here. Oh, a couple sleds coming. I got to move out of the way. Again, a couple of snowmobilers didn't wave at me. <laughs> they probably think, oh, them side-by-sides are tearing up our trails but I'm not so whatever we all get a bad name for just a few okay I was just starting to take off and I saw a couple more snowmobiles coming in my mirror so I'm gonna let them pass by Well, we're a little bit more down the trail. Oh, here's another sled. And uh, we're coming up to Callahan Rapids. We're coming up to the two iron bridges. And it's just a beautiful sight. I've showed this on videos previously and uh, just a beautiful area. Take pictures and video. Now, I was, I'm was i going to stop here. I was going to move my camera around, but it was killing my shoulder to reach my camera and try to point it towards the water so I just decided to keep on going good thing I did because you'll see why in a minute I run into some more snowmobilers and not happy ones <laughs> they're a little grumpy today so here's the second bridge and the river splits here and then meets again it's a really scenic spot it was a little sketchy going across this bridge. It felt like it wanted to pull into the soft snow where the just near the railings. It was weird. So I was I slowed it right down. I'm just gonna go over here a little ways and then do a UE turn around, come back. But I run into some more sledders. 
Come on, buddy, wave. Be friendly. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not a mean person. I'm not screwing up your trails. Come on, wave at me. <laughs> no love anymore. Nobody. Everybody's angry about something. Got to cheer up. Loosen up a little. I saw some more coming, so I'm just sitting here waiting. And they're coming along. A lot of sleds on the trails today. Well, they better take advantage of it because it only lasts a few weeks and then gets mild or it rains, screws the trails up, and then it's all over. So I made it across the bridges and look what I see. Two Pepsi bottles empty and a hard Mike's Cranberry, I think it is, can. So who's the bad guy? Who's the bad guy? Is it me, the bad guy, riding my side-by-side -side on the trail, not making a mess, picking up other people's litter, enjoying nature, or is it the other people that are leaving a mess all over the trails? That's the question I have to ask. So we're hitting the highway here on our way home. Like I said, I wasn't going back to that lake. And if you look to the left, there's Powell Power Sports. That's my local dealer. Excellent guys there. They have ATVs, side-by-sides, and trailers. Go give them a visit if you're looking for any of those. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.